Johnson Control has been the bellwether of intelligence in the buildings from 1883, 140 years back when we, Mr. Johnson invented the first electrical thermostat. And we have more than 9,200 active patents in the smart building technology. We have carried the same DNO of, of innovation and built single pane of glass smart building platform called Open Blue. So today we are showcasing the same Open Blue platform what, which basically monitors your portfolio-wide smart building operations, smart sustainability, you know, wellness, and across all of your building portfolio, smart sustainability, smart uh, building operation, your wellness factors, and you know, smart security of the building, right? What this platform does, uh, basically, it has a lot of uh, apps, apps within the platform. It has smart sustainability, utility bill manager, asset manager, space performance, right? The platform has been deployed across more than 3,500 plus buildings globally, right? If you look at into the portfolio-wide performance of the platform, so it does monitor your sustainability uh, performance, whether electrical consumption, EUI, water consumption. It does manage your asset performance across the portfolio or the building-wise as well, right? And then it also have the uh, all kind of monitors being, uh, alarms being monitored through the platform itself, right? You can also look at all the attention areas which are required in a particular facility or the, you know, across the portfolio which you need to look at. If you t go into the sustainability manager of the platform where you can look at all the electrical energy performance, your thermal energy performance and your savings against baseline through the platform itself. So what it does basically it gathers and monitor. It, it actually, you know, analyze and give recommendation and you can do the automation as well with the same platform, right? So all kind of energy monitoring, your carbon footprint reduction, uh, everything is monitored across the portfolio and across and the building wise as well. The same way you can actually uh, go to your net zero advisor in the platform, what it does, it monitors your scope one and scope two emissions, right? And, and it can give you the, uh, you know, the sources of emissions as well. It also helps you to look at that, how do you set up your energy goals and also your you know, net zero goals. Let's say if you set up a target for your net zero goals and how do you track those targets over the years and, and you know, are you meeting those targets and all and you can accordingly take the, the actions. One of the important uh, you know, uh, tool here within the platform is your performance advisor, which is basically AI and machine learning enabled uh, you know, logic. Let's say you look at any uh, you know portfolio or the space. Uh, you know there are multiple parameters which impacts your performance of the space, whether occupancy, IAQ, your energy resources, and outside weather, right? So when you have multi-parameter uh, scenario, and there is a trade-off between all of these parameters. If you want better air quality, you might have to pump more energy into the into the space. So there is a trade-off. If one thing goes high, one thing goes low. So in this situation. Uh, always a man-made decision might be wrong. So you might need AI and machine learning logic-based decision-making platform like OpenBlue, which gives you recommendations from the platform itself that what action to take, what makes you uh, choose that option, which makes you get that energy savings and the target which you want to achieve in this multi-trade-off scenario. So, so overall, the platform uh, monitors your sustainability across the portfolio. It does your asset management performance as well. It gives recommendations and use AI machine learning logics to basically optimize the overall performance of your buildings and portfolio. So if you go ahead and accept or reject, you can go ahead and, you can go ahead and just... Yes, you can, you can uh, look at different options and you can accept them and reject them, right? And because you have options given, if you are a different persona, like say you are a facility manager, your priority might be that you want more energy uh, savings, right? And then you, may, you can easily look at, okay, how much IAQ score you can keep, how much energy savings you can have, uh, and how much, you know, what kind of action you need to take. Let's say you need to change a set point, how much set point you need to change. So all of those recommendations and uh, comes through the platform, and you can accept and reject them through the platform itself.